Hello guys, it is Hearty Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to update your graphics drivers for AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards the right way. And what I mean by the right way is like not through shady websites that like say, oh, if you do this little like thing, you can get this like button removed and get the download link, but you know, anyway. So, I will leave this little word in the description, I had to just copy it, and you know, go down to the bottom, go to run, and press OK. Then, a box should come up saying yes or no, do you want to do this, do you want to do that, no, yeah, no, yeah, and you just press yes for that. Then, when you, once you get this little box open, it'll say system display, sign 1, sign 2, sign 3, sign 4, sign 5, sign, and input. You want to go to display. Then it'll say device, and then it'll say name, uh, minus a GTX 960, manufacturer NVIDIA, chip type 960, dock type, all that shy. So once you got that, you either want to head to the NVIDIA or the AMD website. So I'm just going to do it for both, so I'll start off with the NVIDIA, so what you want to do is go to drivers, go to all NVIDIA drivers, then come up with this little page, you want to say what card you want, GeForce, Quadro, NVS, Tesla, Grid, 3D Vision, or ION, then click which series from 900 to the 8, then I have mine at 960, and then Windows 10, 64-bit, 7, 8, whatever you have, then whatever language you want, which, you know, whatever, I just did English UK because I'm from the UK, you know why not? You click download. Then it'll say about clicking, agree, and whatever you license agreement for shit. So once that's downloaded, all you have to do is open it and then click next a bunch of times. You can just do the normal installation, it doesn't install anything else. So now we're going to do it for AMD. So what you're going to do is click drivers and support and then go to drivers plus download sensor. Then there will be all of this, you know, you don't need that. You can just do the same thing as you did with AMD or NVIDIA. So you do whatever you want here, I'll just say desktop graphics and I'll go R9, I'll say the Fury series or the Nano even, and then it'll go whatever operating system and display results. So once it comes here, it will say features and supported products, release notes, opt op optional downloads, which I don't really recommend doing because they're pretty bad, but yeah, you can if you want. Same thing with, uh, with Nvidia, you know, I would rather stick to the proper release things than anything else. Because once you have the, the downloaded, just drag like it onto your desktop, so don't open it, just drag it onto your desktop. Then there will be another link that says display driver on installer download. Um, so you just want to scroll down here and then go to download version 15.7.5.5, which may have changed, may have changed before I made this video, you know. So you want to download this. Then once you downloaded that, I have it over here, just click on it, then I'll press yes, then, like, you may say that you need an update, but, no, nah, I'm not going to do that, and then I'm going to press no again, and no again, and, okay, now I'll come up with this, and it'll be, like, launch option, normal, safe mode, safe mode with networking, just do normal, and then click launch, but I'm not going to do this, because I already have mine on, then once that happens, it will restart your Windows computer. It may be a small resolution screen, maybe only like 480p because you have new display driver installed. But that is why you dragged it to your desktop. So you can just double click it and vroom 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 vroom. don't know what that was. And you can just install it straight like that. Okay, so I'll do it for this video. If you guys hit like if you want, if you liked it or if you want to hit this like if you didn't like it. Comment if you have any problems in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.